corresponding angles will happen whenever you have a situation like I'm about to draw. We have a straight line and we have two other lines that cross it, but those two lines are parallel. We know that those two lines are parallel because I drew them on either side of this ruler. What this means is that angle A and angle B must be equal in measure. They are corresponding angles and you can see visually what corresponding means. Actually, when I drew those, drew those two lines, I created four sets of corresponding angles. I will list them. Angle A equals angle B. Angle C equals angle D. Angle E must be equal to angle F. And finally, angle G must be equal to angle H. So whenever two parallel lines cross the same line, you will have created four sets of corresponding angles. Let's look at this situation here. We are told that ABCD is a parallelogram. Because it's a parallelogram, that means that segment AB must be parallel to segment CD. And both of those segments inter intersect this straight line down here. That means that this angle, angle B, A, D, must be equal to this angle here, angle C, D, E. It also means that this angle here must be equal to this one here. They are also corresponding. We are justified in coming to these conclusions because we know that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. In this situation, I can see that angle X, Y, Z sorry, angle X, Z, Y, saying it correctly, must be corresponding to angle M, G, F. How do I know this is true? Because over here I have this symbol that says segment Y, Z is parallel to segment F, G. Since I know that they are parallel and they cross the same line, it means that they are creating more than one set of corresponding angles. Let's show another set. Angle Y, Z, M must be equal to angle FGH. The rule of corresponding angles is easy to apply. It tells you a lot about your diagram, but it only works if the two lines that cross a straight line are parallel to each other.